So, Blender's brush asset system is well on its way and it's looking promising. Just like many tools and features that are now available in Blender with time, the brush asset system is coming. And if you remember, sometime in 2022 was the first time we saw the announcement of the brush and asset draft system, which was said to be coming increasingly relevant as part of the upcoming texture project, which was part of the strategic target project of Blender 2022. The idea for the texturing project was to combine node-based textures and mask painting, which would aid towards a better non-destructive painting pipeline within Blender, with plans of visiting the brush management and performance-related topics, which brings us all back to the brush asset system. Although the texture project is still on its way, but the brush asset system is something that will be coming more sooner. And of course, with the asset browser fully implemented and now home to many assets, Blender tools, procedural nodes, and so on, and after the implementation of the pose library with the asset browser, the brush asset system seems to be clearly the next tool to make its debut. Well, it's already on its way because if you go over to Blender Experimental and head over to the branch section, you would notice that we have the brush asset project. This is currently available for all platforms. So whether you're using Windows, Mac, or Linux, which clearly indicates that this may start becoming pretty more useful in 4.2 alpha. As we've gone past the alpha for 4.1, we may have a chance of playing with this or have it fully implemented in 4.2. And to further confirm this change from the release note, unlike other versions of Blender, which has only the sculpt and paint or probably just sculpt, right here, you would notice that we have sculpt, paint and texture. And this is pretty exciting as it is. So if we go over to the download page and we download this version of Blender and open it, this begins to shed some light to what we will be working with in the future. And since this is still in its very early stage, we don't currently have assets to play with within the asset browser. However, you can see the categories within the essentials, which is where Uber assets live and potentially the brush assets would also live when they finally make it to the main branch of Blender. And of course, if we simply go over to the asset browser and open this, you would notice that we have the brushes, which includes brushes, abandoned and testing. And of course, this clearly defines what we're looking at with the brushes containing the curve sculpt, the grease pencil and mesh related brushes. The current state of this just simply reminds me of the early days of Asset Browser, which is pretty interesting. So within the Curve Sculpt, you would see that we have the Formation, Density, and General. Grease Pencil also has some subcategories which deals with Draw, Paint, Sculpt, and Weight. The same thing can be said for Mesh, which is more like the sculpting section that has to do with Clot, General that has to do with Add and Subtract, Contrast, Miscellaneous, Transform, Paint, we also have the Texture Paint, Vertex Paint, and Weight Paint. So all of these are brushes that potentially will be coming. Of course, the Blender developers have already mentioned that a set of brushes will be shipping with this and about 80 brushes will be coming with the sculpt section once this is green lit. So one of the things that you would notice if you actually want to start testing this is this, that if we go in, actually, let's do this here. If I simply have this object selected and I subdivide that, so let's subdivide. Actually, we shouldn't even subdivide this. I think we should do the multi resting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the multi resolution. And I'm just going to subdivide that by two, maybe three. That looks good. Also going to collapse this right here. So if we simply have that and then we go over to the sculpt mode, one thing you would notice is the sculpt looks relatively different. It's not exactly what you have with Blender 4.0. Actually, let's go over and launch Blender 4.0 so you guys can see that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Let's switch over to the sculpting section and I'll drag this right over here. So with Blender 4.0, you can see we have all the brushes here, but potentially from 4.2, we will be having just one brush. So if you hold down shift and your space bar, you get to find all the brushes that you're working with, all the brushes that exist here. And then if you hold down shift and space bar, you still notice that you have just the sculpt draw. So where are the brushes? Currently, these brushes exist here. So if we tap in on the keyboard and go over to tools and we click right here where we have the customize and we click on the sculpting tool, you get to find the brushes. In other versions of Blender, version 4.0 and potentially version 4.1, you will be able to find your brushes right here. So if you click, you get the enabled nodes, you get the sculpt tools, you get the reset brush, all of those you find there. But in the release that would contain the brush asset tools, you'll be able to find your brushes right over here. Other things that you can do is you can create your own custom brushes. So a very simple example I would show you guys is if we simply tap F on the keyboard and scale this all the way up and we sculpt, this is the default draw brush. If I would like to make this a bit more hard, what I can do is I can make the changes I want on the brush. So I'm just going to go back and say probably I would like to have some hardness. So I'm just going to increase the hardness of this brush. So we have 
you know, something like that. At the same time, we can also change how we would like our stroke to be. Probably I might just want the stroke of this to be more like a line stroke or, you know, we can go ahead and change it to something else, maybe a drag dot stroke. Probably this is what we want. So what we can do is now that we've defined how we want our brush to be like, we can click right here and save this as an asset. So I'm just going to go in and save this and type in the word new. And actually let's put underscore just to be safe. And I'm going to click on OK. So in this case, if I click right here, you'd now notice we have the default scope, the brush which we're using. And of course, we have one more. And this shows you exactly where this brush currently lives. So this gives us an idea of where brushes will be living. As in this case, this lives within the document, Blender, Assets, Saved, Brushes. And there we find the sculpt draw on the score new. So in this case, we now have two different brushes. And the same thing can be done with every other brush that exists here. If I go back to the previous brush, you'd notice that we have this still holding up. So if we drop this all the way down and potentially we just simply set this back to what it was, I believe that should be space. So let's go ahead and try that brush. Okay, so that's it. If we click right here, it resets back to what it is. If I click over and go to this previous one, we now have this brush. And what if you make some changes? Now, if you make some changes to the brush, say for example, you drop the hardness about this much because you're existing within the sculpt draw underscore new. If you click down here, you can update the brush. So we can update that and this becomes the new brush. And of course you can tell where that update is taking place. So you can go ahead and do this for all the other brushes that exist and by every chance you can play with it. The same thing can be done for the painting as well. So you can also make some changes to the painting and depending on what you like to use the paintbrush for, you can do it. One other thing to keep in mind is if you look closely, you would notice that we have canvas. This is something that doesn't exist with other versions as right here we have the color attribute, but that has been replaced with canvas right over here. So a couple of interesting changes are coming and as these things begin to unveil, we we'll would explore all of them and talk about them. And one thing which I would like to also show you guys is to the brushes that we have, you know, we already went over here and we did save it. Those brushes do not exist within your asset browser right now. So if you go back to the asset browser, go over to essentials, you would not be able to see that no matter how much you refresh. So those brushes are currently not here. Let's go ahead and collapse this. And like we mentioned earlier, you can flip back and forth and work with this. So if we simply go all the way back as well to where we have our simple draw, if this is something that you like to do. Of course, some interesting changes are coming and hopefully we would get around them and see how they look when they are finally available. One thing which I also love to see is a point where you can simply work with pre-owned brushes. So for example, if you do purchase some brushes from the Blender market, it would be nice to see that you can bring those brushes in and save them within your asset browser for further reuse. As the whole idea is for you to be able to work interchangeably and work with multiple brushes at the same time within your viewport, as this is planned to cut across sculpting, texturing, and grease pencil. And I do love the potentials and possibilities that this has, and as part implementation, this complements the brush asset workflow notes that we've seen previously. And like I mentioned earlier, from our early blog notes, there are plans of shipping up to 80 brushes, which by every standard is quite a lot. And hopefully, brushes will be shipped to other categories as well, and we would have a chance to explore and play with them once they're finally here. So this is it for those who like to take a look at this and probably you like to explore, test and play with it. Then links to all of these are going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one. Peace.